Hello. This is your neighborhood, Jason Voorhees. Say hello, pumpkin. Without pumpkin. Hey, y'all. This is uh, Vlog Thinking Hour, or Thinking Second. Um, I've been noticing a lot of negativity and hurt just locally here where I live in Oregon and and just in the world in general. And I don't really have too much to add except we need to learn more, <laughs> I believe. I need to learn more. Um, that's in regards to mental health, the things that I have, which are, you know, I have anxiety, depression, I have uh, uh, paranoia. Um, you know, sometimes I dip into to drinking. I try to solve it. I try to put a band-aid on it. But I'm realizing, and as of coming out of it, I'm realizing that hurts people. You know, I've, I've lost a brother, <laughs> which is a friend of mine, uh, band members. I've lost relationships, something that I really cared about, a certain one. I've lost somebody who, another relationship who really cared about me. I don't know if I've lost it, but... You know, when you're in this state of negativity and try to band-aid things, you just lose and you lose and you lose. And uh, I'm learning that I have to take time for myself to be in my own space. Sometimes we all just have to sit down and really meditate. You need to put the phone away, put the social fucking networks away, put all the stuff away, and just think for a second. Look at the stars, look at the smell of the air, pet a cat, do something nice for somebody, and, you know, ultimately get back to yourself. Cause that's the only way you can pull yourself up personally and us up as a whole. And if after that, if by those times, these people and your things in your life are still spitting on you and just, Bleh, I don't know, man, and, uh, and uh, I don't know about this because... I'm still, I still care about this, and I don't know, and if all of these things are so negative, you got to get rid of it. You can't hold on to it anymore, because all that's going to do is bring you down, and down, and down, and down. That's what's been happening to me, and that's what I see happening to a lot of people. Like I said, not just locally where I live, but nationally, <laughs> in this country. And uh, I'm not trying to preach here. I'm just, I'm seeing things and I'm learning. And I'd like to give back a little bit of whatever kind of bullshit knowledge or anything that I can give back to y'all. Because that's a part of the meat slab, you know. I'm going to do, I'm going to individually place these in vlogs because I'll start doing vlogging. So it won't be in the middle of my gaming channel. But I want an outlet to be able to explain to y'all the daily things that I go through, you know. I go through things every day. You know, personally, like I said, um, uh, med medically, <laughs> you know, with my anxiety and depression and paranoia and all kind of things. And, and I try not to slip back into using things that ultimately bring me down more. So, and like I said, again, even if it's your brother, your sister, your best friend, you thought, if these people are going to continually be negative and still not be there for you through that hard times and the good times... And they're not your brother. They're not your girlfriend. They're not anything. They're just stepping stones into what you thought. And then where to learn what not to do again. If that may be the case. Now that sounds negative. But that's the only way you ascend. And keep ascending. So those are just my two cents. I hope everybody really is having a beautiful day and night. Again I will be back on my streaming schedule. I will be getting my setup. I have to work on a new living situation, I believe, because I need a better one, one that fits me more where I can yell, go crazy with you on stream, and I'm going to have my whole studio set up so we can really do this thing full time, and I'm going to have a full schedule, but I will be streaming still, not stopping, I just, you know, I just wanted to give my two cents, and not only, not only, not to preach, but to mainly get some things out of me that I need to get out. Because I really don't talk to anybody. I'm a big introvert. When I'm I, when I'm an extrovert, I'm an extrovert. I can play with everybody, hang out. But when I'm an introvert, and when I go into that dark hole, into that rabbit hole, I'm gone. <laughs> and I don't want to be that. Because I, I love y'all, and I know you love me. And I can't wait to, for y'all to see what's coming. And, you know, like I said, keep it moving. If you got these negative people in your life, even if they were positive before, 
if they can't see you on your struggle and still be there no matter what, then they are not your people. They were there for the second. They were a transition. And I think a lot of people need to learn that. But we also also need to learn to love each other and be understanding and be very aware of mental health. That's serious. Whether it be I have to medicate myself through pills because I'm depressed, medicate myself through drinking because I'm dying and depressed and sad and don't know who to run to, whether that be taking a jog, whether that be talking to your parents, whoever, just to pe just be there with the people that actually that you know are truly there for you. Because if they are, they'll never abandon you. Ever. No matter what. Even if they see you at your darkest, darkest days, no matter what you're doing, they'll always be your brother and always be your sister. So let's pull together. Let's unite. And let's chill on the meat side, baby. <laughs> That's enough for my preacher session. I love you all. Jason Voorhees loves you. I mean, Pumpkin and Jason Voorhees love you. I'll see y'all tomorrow with a stream. I don't know if it'll be Far Cry 5. I'm hearing meddling things about it. I might do Kingdom Come uh, that game because the, the fixes are out. So we'll see. Definitely Crossing Soul. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking in there with me. I just wanted to fill you in on what's going, mainly on what's going on in my life. I've been going through hell <laughs> personally and losing lots of people in the process. And that's not fun. But I'm realizing the people that aren't there, they're not my people. They were just there as a, as a, as a phony, as a temporary. So maybe one day they'll wake up. Hopefully. That's the shining light. Maybe one day they'll wake up and be like, you know what? I am your brother. I realize what you're going through. Or I didn't. But uh, this is for all of you out there that can understand. And that maybe you're having perfect lives. But I think it's still good to know. So this is the Meat Slab. This is Jason Borges. And most importantly, peace, love, and all the chicken grease babies. See you tomorrow on the Meat Slab. I love you.